So, okay, so first up, we have a question from Tom Hopkins on Twitter, who asked, have animals ever performed in the Royal Albert Hall? And if so, have any ever escaped and run amok? That is a fantastic question. The answer to which I think I can firmly say is a yes and a yes. Yes. Um, is this a question you get often asked on tours, Phil? Uh, yes, absolutely. Because um, the, 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 we do have a bit of history with performing animals, don't we, Liz? We do, we do. I mean, we I think we had horses in the arena way back in the Victorian times, but I think they got stopped quite quickly because I think the weight of the weight of the animals we couldn't really take it. So um, I think we had a few baby animals in the nineteen tens, and it, I think it was the baby baby elephants that we had that um, really caused caused some trouble. Um, I think we had some baby elephants come to um, a Noah's Ark themed bazaar in 1913 and then they went up to the gallery yeah. all the way up the stairs. They climbed all the way up the stairs and then they refused to come back down again. So I think they had to get coaxed back into a hydraulic lift. Um, so I think, <laughs> I know it's quite a scene. You can't imagine elephants <laughs> in the Albert Hall. Um, <laughs> so it sometimes sounds to... <laughs> like it when you've got a big schools event and there's lots of kids crashing through. It's a similar effect. Absolutely. Maybe. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> but needless to say, I don't think we've had elephants since. Um, but I think we've had a few others. Um, a, am I right? Sorry to interrupt. Um, am I right yeah. in saying at one of the Chelsea Arts Club balls, huge exuberant events that were held at the Albert Hall for uh, many years? I think there was a they they used to erect these fantastic floats and create these displays at Chelsea Arts Club, as I'm sure you're aware. Sorry. To, completely patronising the archivist uh, here. <laughs> um, Not at all. But um, Not at all. One, of the, one year they built, a, they built a model elephant on the great floor, which was the, that, that sort of floor that they lay over the arena for uh, parties and banquets and so on. Uh, they built a model elephant on it, which was so heavy that it caused the floor to collapse. Um, <laughs> But undeterred, the next year, the Chelsea Arts Club said, well, let's go one step further and bring in a real elephant onto the great floor. Um, and that was the point, I think, that the Albert Hall banned animals on the great floor altogether. Absolutely. Me, please, I think if I'm wrong. I, no, uh, I think yeah. you're completely right. I think our engineer said, we, you, you know, you can't bring animals of that size onto our great floor. It's going to collapse, and this thing's worth a lot of money, and we've got the safety of our patrons to think about. So, um, from that point onwards, if you wanted any animals in the hall, you had to get the advice of the engineer. But I think a couple of years later, the council took the formal decision to ban all live animals in the arena completely. And so, really, from from that point onwards, so I think we're we're looking at kind of the nineteen probably like 1950s I think we haven't had any live animals at the hall at all um really just because because of the the weight concerns but also because of animal welfare concerns we had a lot of circuses try and hire out the hall in the in the 50s 60s and 70s who were all declined really because we couldn't house animals in the in the correct way um but yeah their Chelsea Arts Club balls the floats they had were incredible and of course at the end of the day they would all get completely destroyed at the stroke of midnight so absolutely carnage would ensure so having an elephant amongst all of that would not have been a good idea no not at all um <laughs> no i kind of i kind of wish they still ha happened did they did they do a sort of re revival chelsea arts ball sometime in the recent times i vaguely remember yeah yeah, I think they did it a couple of times in the 80s and then another one in the 90s. And we've got some amazing photographs of like Ringo Starr and other rock and roll celebrities of the time oh, coming to them. But yeah. <laughs> not his first time at the hall, of course. Of oh, course. Look not. Out, John. That's my uh, Ringo impression. Oh, wow. Sorry. Phil, um, you need. You, that is your an second agent. career. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. pretty, pretty damn good. Um... <laughs> <laughs> There's a horse though, wasn't there? There's a. I, I'd forgotten all about this, but apparently the uh, Paralympian uh, dressage, um, the Team GB's flag bearer for the Paralympic opening ceremony, uh, Lee Pearson, he a few years previously had been, we think, the first person to 
ride a horse into the auditorium as part of the Swan Lake Ballet. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, I think I think we had Swan Lake going on at the time and I think the Paralympic um, rider came in and they did a photo shoot for um, the Channel 4 Paralympic coverage. So it was um, there's some really incredible photographs that we've got of this horse being ridden down all the uh, public corridors inside the hall and down the arena steps into the arena for this incredible photo shoot. And uh, yeah, it kind of does make you think it would be so lovely to have events like that that back at the hall um it's quite it's quite atmospheric i think the nearest we've come to is i think we had joey the horse from um warhorse um during the proms one year we had the puppetry yeah, and, really, um, I'm I'm sorry to interrupt liz um yeah it's not a real horse i've checked <laughs> i've checked it's what? Not, uh, what it's made of uh, puppet things for a puppet. Oh my god. So you're telling me the Firebird puppet they had for the proms one year also wasn't a real bird? No, that that was real, that one. That was real. I'm so confused. Oh, strange times. Strange this is times. A strange time, strange place <laughs> to, to, to work. <laughs> it is. Um I think the only other kind of animals to note that we've had um in more recent times is we've we've had the appearance of a few dogs, notably um Britain's got talent winner, Pudsey the dog in twenty twelve. I thought Pudsey was a, a bear. That's the comic relief. Oh yeah, we've had comic relief Pudsey too, haven't we? Chil children in need, children in need, Pudsey Bear. Children in need, not comic relief. That's a red nose. That's completely different. But the yes, dog, they, have... they made a film about the dog, didn't they? The Pudsey dog. I remember. They that. did. I did. Did you see that at the cinema? Um, not yet, but I've got time to <laughs> catch up. <laughs> I know what I'll be scheduling for my afternoon. <laughs> talking, talking dog film marathon. Absolutely. Um, I wonder if that's uh, a top showing one on uh, Netflix at the moment, or it soon oh, will be. I reckon so. <laughs> I reckon so. I think. Um, so on. Yeah. How I think on that note, I think I think we've answered Tom's question. We've definitely more than answered Tom's question, which is what we're here for. Um, like everything to do with the, like everything to do with the hall, we've uh, it's very easy to go down a tangent. It's a weird and wonderful place to work. The only other, the only other instance of like animals I know being brought into the hall were ones which I think you know artists have have tried to sneak in their uh, pet dogs and and like and oh, been told okay. I've been told sternly. I assume you can't name any names. My lips are sealed, but um, yeah, I know that I know that there are occasions when this happens. You can't blame them. What's it, Brian Ferry, with a ch a chihuahua in a tiny um, handbag? What's happening? What do you mean? I don't know. I'm just spitballing. <laughs> I, I've no idea. <laughs> Nana Muscori <laughs> with a pet whippet. <laughs> Oh in my the, goodness! In the dressing room too. I don't know. The things you can imagine. I do, <laughs> and I think if 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 uh, if the people watching have any more questions, then uh, all they have to do is go on Twitter. It's hashtag Ask Liz and Phil. Am I right? Uh, it is. It's Ask Liz and Phil, and or hashtag Liz and Phil, and um, and remember to tag in at Royal Albert Hall. Um, yeah, we're here to answer any weird and wonderful questions that you might have about the hall, about the artists that have been there, about the building, or about what well, anything and everything you can think of really you've ever wanted to know about the Royal Albert Hall. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much, Liz. It's been a pleasure well, it's been talking to you. Lovely chatting as always. And can I just remind everyone at home to stay safe and stay home? Got it. Peace out. <laughs> Peace, Peace and out. love. Peace and love. There we go. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>